so this video first of all starts with a disclaimer and that disclaimer is that if you are here looking for Cine EI explanation that means you have a basic understanding of aperture, ISO, shutter speed, exposure, gamma and gamut, log profile, basic editing skills, so on and so forth. Because if you do not know what is what I just said and you don't have the basic of photography and cinematography, then probably you don't need Cine EI and most likely you should use your camera in automatic or semi-automatic mode there's absolutely no shame into that second thing that i want to say it's it's a reminder a reminder that cine ei is something unique among uh, sony alpha and sony cinema line cameras in terms that it will preserve uh, the, the full dynamic range of 15 stops but it gives you the option to shift the ratio between highlights and shadows to your liking, maintaining the full dynamic range of the 15 stops. This is something that you cannot do with um, a camera that does not have the Cine EI mode. Uh, by changing the ISO, you are adding or subtracting gain, but you are not maintaining the same dynamic range. You are simply make the shadows brighter or the highlights darker which is not the same thing of shifting highlights and shadows ratio. Uh, basically, I, uh, I created three simple rules for you to understand how this works. And the first rule is that if you want to emphasize on the shadow, you need to use an exposure index that is lower than the base ISO. If you want to emphasize on the highlights, you need to use an exposure index that is higher than the base ISO. The second rule is that changing the exposure index on its own will do absolutely nothing to your image. Changing the exposure image needs to be immediately followed by a change of aperture and the filtration or the light itself in the scene, which most likely it will be impossible to do if you shoot in natural light. The third rule is that all those changes that you are making are to expose middle gray correctly for S log gamma curve and it is a 41 IRE if you are using no LUT or 44 IRE if you are monitoring with the LUT. This is absolutely all. Now we'll take some basic examples. So this is an image shot at base ISO of 800 aperture 7.1 and in this case we have six stops of um, exposure above middle grey and uh, around nine stops below middle grey. So this is a fairly well exposed image because uh, the grey card as you see is exposed correctly at IRE 41 as per S log 3. So now let's put in practice the all three principles. Let's say we have to emphasize on the uh, shadow. So that means we have to use an exposure index that is lower than the base ISO. And for example, I'm going to shoot uh, to choose an um, exposure index of 200. Obviously, this will do nothing to our image according to the second principle. And in order to have a change, we have to modify the aperture and the filtration on the light itself. For me, it's easier to change the aperture. So I'm just going to make this change now and I'm ending up with an aperture of 3.5. We will simply be welcomed with an image that is unusually bright. But if you bring the gamma down and uh, you do this to meet again uh, middle gray at 41 IRE, uh, you're going to gain two stops into the shadows and you're going to lose, on the other hand, two stops into the highlights. This is how Cine EI works. Now, if we try to do the opposite, 
to emphasize more on the highlights area, then according to the first principle, we have to use an exposure index higher than the base ISO. So for example, let's go crazy. Let's go to an exposure index of 3200. Obviously, according to the second principle, this will do absolutely nothing I'm, um, unless I'm changing the ND filtration aperture or light. And according to the third principle, I'm doing that until middle gray is again exposed correctly. And this is very easy to, to observe, obviously, if you're using a monitoring light in camera. Now, if you bring this image into Da Vinci, you will be welcomed with an unusual dark image and in order to make it look right again you have to this time increase the gain until mid gray is also exposed correctly again at 41 IRE and even if you have gained two stops into the highlights now you are losing two stops into the shadows and that will simply translate into much more noise uh, that's how it works and using Cine AI is always advisable to gain more into the shadows to avoid noise, not to gain more into the highlights. This may work as well, but for very specific scenarios. I hope that helped and see you in the next video. Cut.